Hey fellow traders, hope you're having a good weekend. Now this is going to be a market outlook video in which I'm going to show you the bias for the various currency pairs over here as well as the key levels to watch out for. Now many of the key levels which we highlighted last week actually came true and you'll see that in a moment. And that's it. so why it's very important that you watch this market outlook video every single week so that you will not sell into support or buy into resistance. Now, as always, for this analysis, I'll be using the MPE trading strategy that is taught in my free day trading guide right over here. So just a very quick refresher in case you're new. Uh, MPE stands for market condition, price level, and entry. So I'm going to do it step by step on the various currency pairs and provide you with the price levels as well as the market condition uh, for each of these currency pairs. Now, if you have not gotten this free day trading guide, then just head over to the website, which I will leave a link to download it for free in the description down below. So just click on this website, click here and just input your email and it will be sent directly to your email address. Okay, so it's totally free. Just go grab it and I'll do read it if you are new, but I'll be using this guide to analyze the market. So let's jump straight into the economic calendar to start off our analysis. So today is the 14th of March and we're going to be preparing for the 15th of March to the 18th of March. Okay, so next week we have the uh, FOMC, we have the Economic Projection Statement Press Conference. Okay, and we also have this uh, GDP mon Monetary Policy Summary. Okay, so it's going to be a very packed week and I project that price is going to be very Rangy is going to be range bound next week because you have all these big conferences. Okay, it's going to be just like last week or rather this week because today is still Sunday. So expect the market to be very difficult to trade. So please be patient. Okay, ideally you stay out of the market until after uh, the, the press conference, which is uh, for myself will be uh, on uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, okay, Thursday morning. But well, I'm not signing, but basically I'm in GMT plus eight. So for me, it's uh, about uh, 2 a.m. Uh, on Thursday. But for you, just check out what time is it uh, for you, depending on where you're watching this from. Okay, so with that being said, we have to be very careful. So let's go into the charts. So let's kick off this analysis with the uh, do dollar index. Okay, dollar index last week, uh, we talked about this level here being a very good level to buy. And I also talk about this being resistance. So you can see that this level actually, uh, these two levels actually came through. So what happened was that our price got rejected off this level and came down. Now, you might not trade directly into the DXY. Okay, I said this many times, right? You may not trade directly into the DXY, meaning you might not buy DXY. But you still need to understand the direction of DXY because it tells you the direction of dollar. So if you know that dollar is at support, then you will know that, okay, if dollar is at support, then I will lean towards selling euro dollar, which is selling euro and buy dollar. It's the same thing, okay? And a lot of the currency pairs are backed against the dollar, which is the major currency. So if you know where DXY is heading, then you will have a very good um, feel of where most of the currency pairs will move towards. So right here, price is parked at support right now. Now this is a very easy level to get. Uh, this is just a previous uh, full height, okay? So on Friday, we had something like a piercing candle over here, okay? So just watch for a bounce of a uh, dollar next week. Expect dollar uh, to strengthen, okay? And uh, so what happened is that we have FOMC. So it makes sense that dollar will be in the limelight, meaning to say that a lot of people will start focusing on dollar because it's the FOMC statement. So just be careful of this uh, level over here, right? If you want to short uh, any dollar pass, just watch out for your DXY, at least ensure that this level is broken first, okay? Because right now it's at support. We don't want to be selling a dollar when it's at support. Now let's go into a euro dollar, okay? So euro dollar is also another currency pair, which uh, what we said last week came true, okay? So just to recap what I said last week, okay? If you have not watched that market outlook video, you can still watch it because there's still a lot of value as I break down uh, how to view the market, right? You still get a lot of nuggets of wisdom about how to analyze the market and follow the MPE trading strategy. So following the MPE strategy, I said last week that we are still in a long-term uptrend, okay? You can see that this is a high, this is a low, higher, high, higher, low. 
high, 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 low, and so on and so forth. Okay, so if the market condition is bullish, then ideally we want to be buying. Okay, it's actually written over here. If the market is in an uptrend, we should be looking to buy only. Okay, this is the highest probability setup. Uh, you don't want to go counter trend, especially if you are still a beginner trader who's still struggling. So I mentioned that there's a zone of support here. Okay, because you can see over here, let me just zoom in. You can see that there are multiple resistance level previously. And right now, because price is above, then this is support. And I caution that uh, if you want to get a breakout repair setup, you need to see price really break this entire zone of support. I caution that you won't, you shouldn't be selling somewhere here because price may not have broken all these support and you'll be selling to support, right? So this is why it's very important that you take note of these levels, right? You don't just watch this video, but you actually take down these levels and enjoy on your charts. So if you need to do it, please pause this video and go get these levels down on your chart or you can watch this portion and get the levels after watching it the first time. So long term is bullish and price at support now. So uh, potentially we can look for a setup since this is the zone of support and this support seems to be holding. Okay. Now the only problem right now is that we have the immediate resistance at 1.2031. Okay. As well as uh, if we consider the uh, round digit 1.20 or so. Let me just draw it here. Okay. Uh, this is a psychological number as well. So uh, the the distance or rather there's not much meat to this level so ideally ideally if it's possible it will be good if we can wait for a, some form of uh, you know retracement down again and look for a nice candlestick pattern and just take, uh, take kind of like trading the double bottom catch the second bottom okay but remember when we follow the MP trading strategy we need the price level we need the entry trigger so the price level is actually this entire zone and now what we need is a trigger. Okay, so I've done M for you. M is market condition. It's in long term uptrend as, as, as you can see over here. Series of higher highs and higher lows. Okay, that's how I do it. Then price level is this entire zone, which is market structure. And lastly, we just need an entry trigger. Okay, no entry trigger, no trade. Okay, please do not jump in the trade blindly without any form of entry trigger. Again, uh, all these are found in the three day trading guide. Uh, I do go over what are some of the price action triggers that you can use, uh, like uh, all these uh, candlestick patterns like hammer, shooting star, and guffing pattern. All these are price action triggers which you can use uh, when you are using the MPE trading strategy. So let's move into pound dollar. Okay, pound dollar is also very similar. Uh, last week I mentioned that uh, this is your support here. Okay, and long term wise, uh, if you follow MPE strategy, uh, the market condition is definitely uptrend, okay? So you shouldn't be looking to sell, okay? No selling, only buying, because it's a very clear uptrend. So what do we have right here? It's uh, the key levels. We have this key level, 1.38547. And how did I get this level? It's actually the left shoulder here. And this is the head, which uh, I'll shift it up a bit. Okay, this is the head here. And right now, price is resisted over here, which I highlighted last week as well because this was a very strong level so right now our uh, price is being supported here but uh price closed at uh, 1.3909 uh, level and it's still kind of like in the middle between this support and this resistance so ideally if you want to trade uh we'll try to catch the right shoulder i'll uh, just wait for price to come down a little more right i ideally we get a very nice uh, candlestick with a very small stop loss and uh look to just take the trade up and close your trade when it hits the resistance over here. Okay, Because this is a very strong resistance, do make sure to take some profit whenever price hits this level. Okay, Just set your take profit, maybe something like this. Let me show you. Maybe something like this. Okay, and get in somewhere here. And maybe your stop loss depending on um, where the low of the candle is. And just take your profit just before the level. Okay, Do not be greedy because Sometimes what happens is if you put your take profit too far, it misses your take profit and end up you give back all your unrealized profits. So don't be greedy, just take profit uh, maybe at 1.39875. Okay, do take note that this uh, is 1.40 level as well. So it is a psychological level, 1.40 because it's a round digit. Okay, so it's a very strong level. Please 
uh, look to take profit here. And uh, if you follow the MP trading strategy, you shouldn't be selling over here. Okay, this is for more advanced traders if you want to go counter trend and sell at this resistance here. Okay, but that's not something that I recommend, especially if you are new to trading and are still struggling. Now, moving on to dollar franc. Um, dollar franc right here, it's a bit more tricky. Okay, uh, right now, let me just clear this first. Right here, we have a price being uh, resisted. Okay, on Friday, it just closed right into this level okay so it's really uh, not conclusive we don't know whether this level will hold as resistance or not or is this broken and you also have this level here which i'll just adjust it slightly down to reflect the swing high here okay so uh it's a very clear uptrend uh, as i mentioned before because you have a high you have a low higher high higher low so your market condition is bullish so you only want to be buying but right now the key levels are not very very clear okay uh, you do not know if this level is going to hold as resistance okay if this level holds as resistance then the next level that you can potentially look to buy will be this level over here 1.9193 and in fact personally i prefer looking for a long entry here rather than to buy this breakout okay because what would happen is if let's say you buy this breakout and you buy it somewhere over here uh, by the time the uh, candle close and your stop loss somewhere here uh, your take profit is going to be very uh, bad you can see that your risk to reward is going to be very horrible because uh, it's very close okay so this is not what i like to do i prefer to wait uh, for price to come down lower that's it for dollar frank let's move on to aussie dollar so this is aussie dollar now aussie dollar is in a long-term uptrend again so based on the market condition it's in an uptrend and it should be quite easy to see why it's uptrend. You have a high, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. So ideally, you want to be looking to buy. Okay, but do take note there's a very strong resistance level over here uh, as given by this market uh, structure, this swing high here, as well as this swing high over here. And if you were to look at the, big, the bigger chart pattern, you can see that this is actually a left shoulder. This is a hit and this is a potential right shoulder. Okay, so ideally, you want to look for longs, but you want to look for longs at support. Or if you want to look for breakouts, you just wait for price to break higher and then I retest this key level over here. Okay, uh, I don't recommend selling right here, even though uh, it looks quite good. Okay, maybe if you're an advanced trader, okay, you've been trading for some time and you understand uh, how to trade reversal patterns, then okay, you can go ahead and take this trade. But uh, for most of you who are still struggling, I do not recommend uh, selling over here. Because as I said, the long-term trend is up. Okay, rather I would rather that uh, you wait for this level to be broken and buy the retracement here. Or if not, then just wait for price to come down lower. Yeah, let me just draw this trend line as well. Something like that. And look for confluence between this trend line, this ascending trend line, and this uh, market structure level. How do I get this level? If you look to the left, this is kind of like a left shoulder hit and a right shoulder somewhere around here. So that's how I got this level. Now, so please stick to, to buying. Okay, if you are you're new, you're still struggling, please stick to buying over here. And uh, if this level breaks, then uh, we have the next level over here. Okay, but if this level is broken, then uh, buying over here is not that wise because what might happen is that price might uh, do something like this. Let me just draw it. It might do something like this, retrace uh, to retest the trend line and the resistance level and then start breaking down. So ideally, if I were to be buying, I will only focus on this level over here, 0 0.7659 or 0 0.78 when price breaks above and retests it with a nice bullish candlestick pattern. So that's how I'll trade it. Okay, I will avoid selling here if uh, I can. Okay, As much as possible, I wouldn't do that. So moving on to uh, dollar, Kiwi dollar, Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi dollar, let me just clear this so it's clearer for you. Not it's a bit messy. So Kiwi dollar, last week or so, I talked about this important level over here. Okay, this is a very, very important level because number one, you have the structure. We can have this, you can see that this is a high, high, high price rejected. And this is actually an entire zone of uh, resistance. Let me just show it. This is the entire zone of resistance which uh, price 
uh, retrace through. And if you were to look at the chart pattern, similarly to the Aussie dollar, you have the left shoulder here, you have the head, and then you have the right shoulder here. Okay. More importantly, you have this ascending trend line that was broken and I uh, retested it. Now, the problem is that uh, Kiwi dollar is still in the long-term uptrend. Okay. So if you want to sell, again, you're going counter trend. And if you were to sell here, you're selling right into support because you can see this level 0.7157. There is some form of uh, support here. Previously was resistance, turn support, turn support. Uh, this is all support. So you are selling into a very strong level as well. And even after this level, even if this level is broken, you have this level to take care of, which is the recent swing low. So it's a very, very tight zone. And by the time you get a candlestick pattern, uh, probably price will be somewhere here and you're selling in the middle of the zone. Okay, so my advice would be to avoid trading Kiwi dollar. Okay, stay out of it. Uh, if it's possible, uh, do not trade Kiwi dollar. Okay, but if you really must, then uh, just watch out for these key levels. Uh, my favorite setup would be to wait for price to break above this entire thing and do a retracement somewhere here. That would be the best case because it's in alignment with the long-term uptrend and that is following our MP trading strategy of following the market condition. So now let's move on to dollar cat. Let me just get this. Okay, so dollar cat is kind of at like support right now. It's not difficult to see that it's at support because this is the recent swing low and price on Friday uh, closed somewhere right here. I also talk about this level, which is uh, 1.25882. Uh, over here, you can see support and then you're supported here. Uh, the trade setup was actually to look for a nice candlestick pattern over here and target here. But uh, we didn't really quite get that. You can see that this candlestick over here, it's still bearish and it's kind of like doji. And then you have this shooting star and then after that price breaks it. So last week, we shouldn't have taken any trade on dollar cap if you are trading the, uh, the MPE trading strategy. But anyway, long-term wise, uh, market condition is downtrend. Okay, you have the low, high, lower, low, low, high, and so on and so forth. So you want to be selling. So right now, price is at support. So uh, we need to wait for price to retrace to resistance. So this is, of course, a very strong level, as I've already pointed out. So just wait patiently, okay? Do not chase the trade and try to short here because this is very risky. And uh, so please do not try to do something like, you know, let price break a bit and then you trade the breakout. Because what happened is that uh, this is a swing low, okay? So what happens is that a lot of stop losses are over here. So when price comes here, you trigger the stop and then you start retracing because the market will always go to the areas where the stop loss are. And after it hits the stop loss, then it starts retracing. So do not chase this trade, just wait patiently at this level of 1.25882 and if you get it, good. If you don't, then just switch on to the next currency pair. Okay? Do not chase the market. Now, dollar yen. Dollar yen, it's a clear uptrend. Okay, uh, if anyone says that this is a downtrend, then uh, obviously uh, there's something really wrong because this is a very clear uptrend. You can see it's high, low, high, 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 low, high, 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 low, high, high. So using the MPE trading strategy, we definitely want to be buy. But here's the issue. If you were to look left and look at the historical uh, levels, you can see that price is parked at a zone of uh, support and slash resistance, okay? Previously was support and uh, became resistance and then became resistance here. So this is a very strong level and price is already very high, okay? Mind you that price has been rallying since, you know, like 23rd February. Uh, it's been like two, three weeks and it hasn't made a very decent retracement. So price is very high. So uh, we don't want to be buying into resistance, okay? So just wait patiently. Uh, if you want to buy, look for price to retrace lower. This is a very good level, 107.91. Let me show you why this is a good level. You can see that this uh, was resistance, 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 res resistance as well. So if you scroll back here as well, you can see that this was support, support. So just wait patiently. Of course, uh, wait at this level, look for a candlestick pattern. And then if you get it, then just take the trade and uh, just target the uh, high over here. Okay, nothing much to say on this one because uh, there's no setup, potential setup yet. But I just want to highlight to you that the market condition is still bullish. So please do not short and be patient and wait at this support level. Now, gold. 
So gold last week also uh, I highlighted this level over here and true enough, this level was support. Okay, this is why you need to watch this video. Okay, you need to watch all these market outlook videos because it will save you so much money just by giving the levels that you should avoid. Right, if you didn't watch this video and you started shopping into gold, you would have lost money. Right, so this is why we take the time on a Sunday to record videos like this just to help you because we don't want you to lose money. So really, please take note of these levels. So right here, you can see that uh, price bounce off the level that we drew. Right, please go back to the other video, right, last week's video, and you will know that this level was a level that we drew on the charts as well. Okay, so price very low now, but uh, if you look at the market structure here, your market condition is bearish because you have a low, you have a high, lower, low, low, high, lower, low, low, high. So we are bearish. So we don't want to be buying off support. We want to be selling at resistance. So what do we do? We need to wait for price to retrace higher somewhere around this entire zone of resistance. Okay, just be patient. Price is in the middle of nowhere now. It's in, in the middle of the support here and in the middle of the resistance here. So it's going nowhere at the moment, right? Hopefully we trace higher, look for a setup and then we take the shot down. Okay, just be patient with this one. Let's go into Euro Pound. So Euro Pound is right now parked at a key uh, support zone. Okay, like, like the dollar yen, like the gold. Uh, what happens is that if you were to scroll back, let me just zoom in for you. You can see that this zone is a very strong uh, zone. This was support, uh, became resistance here, became resistance, resistance, resistance. So it's a very strong level. But more importantly, you can see that the recent data over here, which is uh, the uh, 24th of Feb, the spike low was actually here. So right now, price is very low. So you want to avoid selling into support, right? Granted that the long-term trend is down, you can see this low, this is high, lower, low, lower, high, and so on and so forth. But right now, we're at a support. So you don't want to be selling the support even though it's a bearish trend. Remember, it's MPE, M stands for market condition, P stands for price level. You need to sell at a good price level. So you can look at this level instead to sell higher. Let me show you how I get this level. So you can see that there was some form of uh, rejection here and then price uh, on this date close here and then after it got rejected somewhere around here. So you can look around here as resistance, right? If you get a trade setup, you get a confirmation candlestick pattern somewhere over there, then uh, you can look for a short and sell it down. Okay, but this is more of a range play. I don't expect this level to break down immediately. So if you were to sell somewhere here, just uh, be sure to take your profit fast, okay? Don't expect price to do this because this is a very strong level, okay? Now, if price breaks this level, then you might have a potential a reversal pattern because this will be the first bottom and then this will be the second bottom and this will be the neckline, okay? So just depending on this level, this is the key important level. We will not do anything until price hits this level. Okay, the last currency pair. Uh, this pair is pound yen. So previously, we highlighted that this is entire zone of uh, resistance and it, you have to be careful how you trade this because uh, price was above it, but we didn't know whether it would be traced to which portion of uh, the uh, entire zone of support. Okay, because it's a very wide zone. Uh, price has finally broke above. Okay, uh, and the next level we have is 152.76. Let me show you how I get it. So if you scroll back, you can see that this is the high over here and then there's some form of... Um, support over here and here as well. So right now, price is very high. It's, it's in the middle of nowhere or so. So if you want to buy, as you should be, because this is a uh, bullish market condition, then just wait for price to retrace towards this zone. Okay. Ideally, I would like price to retrace towards the uh, 149.85 level rather than lower. Okay. The rationale is because 150 is a psychological level. So I expect 150 to be a very strong level. So ideally, if we can get a setup here, then I will take the trade and just target uh, this level over here. Okay, very simple setup. Uh, just follow the rules. Okay, so summing up this video, okay, next week is going to be a very difficult week to trade as per the uh, economic calendar. So be very patient. You have a lot of currency pairs like uh, you know the dollar, yen, gold, euro, pound. These currency pairs are sitting in the middle of nowhere right now. Okay, a lot of them are against the main trend, such as like Euro Pound, where um, you could potentially buy at support, but it's against the main trend. Okay, so I'll advise you not to do that. Be patient. 
right? Don't expect to trade every day. Don't expect to make money every single week. They just be patient, manage your risk, right? And we will continue to send you signals in our Telegram channel. So if you're new, you, you, you're part of our YouTube channel and you have not joined our Telegram channel, right? The link's in the description as well. And I also leave a link to the free day trading guide. So please go grab it. Please spend a weekend, study it and prepare hard. Okay? Because that's how you will make money. Okay? You have to prepare if you want to make money. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the Telegram channel.